This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi and Don Dubuque. Paradise, Louisiana is presented by Rotolo's Pizzeria. Fresh ingredients, friendly service. That's just the way we Rotolo. Demco, your touchstone energy cooperative. Pro Drive Outboards. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Vinny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Louisiana Fish Fry Products. And by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Welcome to this week's edition of Paradise, Louisiana, from Bad Bronx, Cajun Meats, Boonan Cajun Meats. And Don, before we get started, we got a big show about it. I've never tried this. This is a, called a chicken crackling. Now, a while ago, I was eating them. They were very good. That's something else you can get over here besides a regular crackling, but. That's very uh, creative and innovative, and that's what you're going to find here at Bergeron's. And you know, if you want to sample some of Bergeron's best, I'm going to be involved. My brother Louie and I are doing a How Men Cook competition. We're up against some pretty stiff competition over there in Covington. It's going to be at the Justice Center on November the 5th. And want to invite people to come by, or they can go online, look on the screen on How Men Cook, and you can make a donation. But Bergeron's is my sponsor, and we're going to be bringing some of their goodies over there for you to sample. So come on by, and you can try some yourself. November the 5th, and I got a wedding on the 3rd. You getting on. married? No, my grandson. Oh, but okay. I, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'll find a way. We're, we're going to be in company. I'm going to have to you have a You can't miss it at the Justice Center. Come yeah, on by. We, we might all tape the show there, huh? Uh, it might be good. might be good. Yeah. We tape on Monday. We do that. We can do that. But listen, Don, uh, we're back here today. And uh, last weekend, we had a lot of things going on. Uh, you know, the latest rodeo, the only the second one I met, it was the mm -hmm. 11th annual. The shirt says the 10th annual, but it was the 11th annual, the latest rodeo. They would, Sherry Hollingsworth was telling me that it was down a little bit as far as the thing, but it was still a lot of people there, a lot of fun. They fought to win. There was some fish caught. Everything went good, so we're going to bring you some of that. Also, I, I got to make a trip with the CST guys, all the business managers over there, Jeff Brenner, uh, executive producer, and uh, the businessman, uh, Mr. Uh, Boudreaux, Mr. Mike Boudreaux, and then Mr. CST himself on the radio, Lynn Rollins, you know, on also the, the voice of Paradise Louisiana. TV, Louisa. huh? TV Lynn Rollins. Yeah. For people that don't know, CST, Cox Sports Television, the channel you're watching this show on. Oh, yeah, one of the channels. But one look, of them. yeah, we got to do that fishing trip, and then we got Tito's coming on. And yeah, final you round. Got you know, that was another one of those events, just like the Grand Isle Ladies Rodeo, that had to be rescheduled. And that is tough, you know. The hurricane, Nate, that came through for some rescheduling. And when you start shuffling things around, but I'll tell you what, they came out pretty good. They all got it done, so that's super. Yeah. And then I was involved with uh, Chris Lecoq, our producer, and I took a ride up to the Natchitoches National Fish Hatchery, and we weren't looking for fish, we were looking for turtles, alligator snapping turtles. We were on a dual purpose mission with some of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service enforcement agents and the biologists, and we'll show you and tell you what that was all about. I got one other thing to tell you. you was, while y'all were up there, mm -hmm. and y'all were bringing it back that Wednesday, that Thursday night I went to Wild Night, over there for the Louisiana Wildlife Federation or Foundation, Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Foundation. Mm -hmm. They gave a big award night for Mr. Ron Bartell and also Kel McKinnis. So I got some scenery over there, but I bid on the prettiest mountain I've ever seen. And guess what it was? An alligator snapping turtle with brim around it. Thing, beautiful thing. I took one picture. It might be a little dark. But, very, very uh, fitting. I am so proud of that. Now, I've got to find a place to put it now. We've also got the Berkeley Abu Garcia fishing report for you, our hunting report, H&H &H tournament report, and the Paradise, Louisiana news. So while Gary's working on these chicken cracklings, we'll be right back. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Hey, I'm Mitch Rotolo, owner of Rotolo's Pizzeria. Our pizzas are prepared every day using the freshest ingredients. 
But Rotolo's has so much more to offer than just delicious pizza. We have an array of healthy salads and tasty wraps, a wide choice of pasta like spaghetti and chicken parmesan, zesty buffalo wings, and our selection of savory calzones. And don't forget to try one of our amazing desserts. Come into any of our local restaurants or check out our entire menu online at rotolos.com. That's just the way we Rotolo. Hey folks, Sam Barbera from the 2017 Wild Night. We see the Wild Fisheries Foundation. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Relationships are everything in life. For me, the most important relationships start with faith, family, and friends. I feel blessed to be married to my high school sweetheart of over 25 years. We were both born and raised in Louisiana, and so were our four children. We're proud to call Louisiana our home. That's why giving back is so important to us, whether it's car seats, bicycles, or helping those in need. At Gordon McKern Injury Attorneys, we feel blessed knowing that we can come to work every day and help our community when they need us the most. Call 800-653-9968. Alligator snapping turtle. I don't know if there's been another animal on this planet that has had so many stories and legends and myths about them. It's got a lot of names too. Some a lot of names. Loggerhead, uh -huh. but, you know. Been around a long time. Scientists say they've been around over 200 million years and still here. Do you know how many species have come and gone over 200 million years? Now, how many salts? Turtle salt for corn soup been <laughs> made too. Oh, but you know, there may be some trouble with the alligator snapping turtle populations and there's some efforts undergoing uh, to help restore them and, and re have them reproduce on farms and then go back and put those young turtles back in areas where they came from to restock their populations. There's variations from state to state on regulations. Some state have outlawed the taking of them. Some they still allow it like we do here in Louisiana and there's some ongoing studies to find out whether they're going to be threatened, endangered or plentiful enough to continue well, to harvest. Well, but the mission we went on up there, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, between their enforcement agents and their biologists, it was a dual purpose. Actually, two of these turtles were going to be taken to a courtroom to be used as evidence in a poaching case. The other ones that were captured, they were DNA tested to find out where, where these turtles came from so that when they do breed them and they spawn and they get the young hatchlings, they will return those to the area where they came from. It's a pretty neat operation. Great place, some very hardworking people up there. Uh, we had the biologist, Vanessa Ortiz was there, and also we had a, another biologist, Grant Weber, that kind of took us through the whole thing. He heads up that hatchery and talked us through it, and we'll let you take a look at it. Some amazing creatures, those alligator snapping turtles. We're harvesting our ponds down, trying to find two turtles with unknown haplotypes. These turtles have all been tagged with pit tags. Blood work has been done, genetics have been done on them. So basically what we're doing right now is we're trying to find the two with the unknown haplotype. So we've drawn down the ponds, we're collecting the turtles, and we're using a scanner to scan for those pit tags to see where those numbers are, those identification numbers are for those two turtles we're trying to find. This is one of the turtles that has an unknown genetic composition, so we're going to take it out of the spawning population so it doesn't breed with the other known genetics. All of the turtles that we have here, we uh, received through a law enforcement case. So we were developing this program and we got a call from some of our law enforcement division and they were looking for a place for some turtles. So it was excellent timing. This big guy is the one headed to the courtroom. You won't have to deal with him in the wild, at least for a while. 
And by the way, if you're out there in the swamps, be careful. These things can hurt you. They can take my arm off, no problem. I know that. And it's amazing how fast they are. If you don't hold them in a the right place on their shell, it, they're unforgiving. They'll take your arm off, your hand off pretty quick. Even the small turtles, they, they latch onto you and they don't want to let go. And they have a very sharp beak. I don't know if you've looked at their, their anatomy there, but that beak will latch on and it won't let go. So I'm grabbing the shell near the tail and right behind the head. So that way it cannot turn its head to get me. If you grab it on the sides, see how it's flicking around? If I had my hand on the sides, that turtle could have got my hand. I think a lot of people, their first response is to grab on the sides because it's easier to hold that way. But this way the turtle cannot get me. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to raise them in captive environment and reproduce them. We let the turtles spawn on their own and then we'll release their babies. We'll collect their eggs, hatch them out, and then we'll release the young after a couple years of rearing them. They're not endangered, but they're threatened. And that's because regulations stand now where in Louisiana, each person, individual, can take one alligator snapping turtle per day. So it's a pretty high harvest rate for something that some of these big guys have lived over 100 years already. It's probably one of the biggest number of questions we get when people visit the hatchery asking about the snapping turtles. We have some on display in our aquarium and people just love them. They're really unique creature. They live for a long time. You know, it, it, it takes them about 15 years approximately before they can even get old enough to breed. So they're, they're very interesting critter. I think it's that wow factor, you know, people don't realize how big and how old these turtles get. Pod's moving in storage. I need to clean out my study. We'll deliver a container. My brother-in-law's moving in. Maybe he'll help you pack. He's lazy. We can refer some professionals. It's just until he finds work. We can keep things at our storage center for as long as it takes. I am not happy about this. Or you can keep your things on site for quick unloading. Did you say freeloading? I said unloading. I heard freeloading. I'm sure you did. Store on site or let us drive your things to our secure storage center. Pods, moving in storage, solved. I'm Captain Justin Bowles with JB Fishing Charters. Angie Stewart with Allen Marina. I'd like to welcome Paradise, Louisiana. Stay tuned for some fishing with the CST guys. Ask me about my tempur Ask me how fast I fall asleep. Why not talk to someone who's sleeping on the most highly recommended bed in America? Ask me about staying asleep. tempur owners are more satisfied than owners of any traditional mattress brand. Ask me how it feels after 10 years. tempur the most highly recommended bed in America. Ask about tempur at Olin's, where you know you always get the guaranteed low price. Olin's is the only store in Baton Rouge and Lafayette with the full line of tempur Hey y'all, it's Sam Barbera. I'm with the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Foundation. The foundation is a nonprofit that raises funds and provides support for the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Department. We assist with numerous projects like black bear, whooping crane, bald eagle, as well as family, youth, and women's workshops. For all of the information on the foundation, visit LAWFF.org. We need your support to help our wildlife and fisheries. Visit LAWFF.org. Dot org. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. And Gary, you know, everybody was raving last week about how much the fishing improved with the passing of Hurricane Nate. 
brought in the clean, salty water, brought in the bait, turned the fish on, and you got to make a pretty nice trip over there in the eastern part of the state. Yeah. Thanks to Miss Angie and David Stewart, I went back over there, and they, they always helped me get them guys, but Justin Bowes has been planning a trip with us. That's a good friend, Sam Bobert, and he's been promising, you know, take us, he's been wanting to make a trip. He's one of the young, upcoming guys. Lynn Rollins is always ready. Jeff Brenner with his big schedule. We finally got him the time off, and uh, being right there, you know, where he's from, he lives in Mandeville, by the way, also, mm -hmm. and, and it was a great, it was a great trip. Uh, we didn't kill him, but we caught a lot of fish everywhere we went. Justin tried some different places, uh, but the scouts been out ever right after that storm. Miss mm -hmm. Angie was sending me reports. All our captains were reporting big catches of trout right there in Lake Catherine. Also in Lake Bourne, they were catching redfish and that thing, but the trout was the big worry. Now some of her captains went to Delacroix because they heard all of a sudden, they showed up over there, talked to Jack Payne, did it, the same thing. The, the fish were showing up. We're doing the fishing report, mm -hmm. but here we are, we're doing a trip. I had my two buddies with me, they were gonna follow a boat. I had a, 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 new, a, a new camera girl we breaking in. Uh, I wanna let you see a little bit of her, and, and she's a real talented young lady. And in this trip, they had a follow boat, they were around, they were catching fish also. So. Uh, Aaron Friu was in the boat with them. Harold and Ken Lambert was also in the boat. And this is our trip. And this one, you know, pretty good day we had. I say it's a pretty good day with Captain Justin Bowles. Bring him this side. Oh, you got yeah. this door open behind you. Don't, don't move for a okay. second. You got all the room you need. Yeah. Bring him in that in. That let me see. Oh, good. Trout. This is the first trout. Nice fish. Didn't we say he'd catch the first one? That's what, what we What do you think about it, Jeff? First one in the boat. Nice sized trout. Doing it out here on Paradise, Louisiana. Like as close as you can get it to that grass. Are you under, you under. Look at that. Tell y'all y'all better be careful. Oh, uh, you don't need I have a marina that's full of live shrimp right now. They got good sized ones and they out here working. Uh, take your time. Make sure you, the drag ain't set too good loose. Fish. Gotta get it in the boat first though. Pike means nothing. If he wants to go whatever way, you just you yeah, go with Woo! Woo! Oh, this is a four foot fish. Got him. Come. Atta, baby. Oh. Seven and a half pounds. Beautiful red. Fishing for trout and reds. hooks I've been using this year with live shrimp. It's a two-aught, three-aught circle hook. And uh, I just find that they hook the trout in the better part of their mouth in the corner, and the hooks don't pull out when you hair lift them like with a normal hook with a shrimp. Um, but you, you can't set the hook. You gotta let them take it and just reel down. I'm fishing this flat back here. I normally wouldn't go this far back. After this storm, about a foot and a half to two feet above normal. So I think the trout may be back in the back of here. We're catching a few throwbacks right now, but hopefully when we get to the back, there may be some keepers.
when you get a hook in your hand. There you go, yo, yo, yo. This is better than hooking Gary Rasponi on yeah, Paradise, Louisiana. I got a hook Louisiana. in my hand right now. <laughs> stop, Both stop, of them. stop, let go. Step back. So tight, hold tight, I got you. You got this. Ay, 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 you pulled it up. Yeah, that's okay. You want to sit down, Gary? Yeah, they cleared out. You can get yeah, one of them. And then, I'm up, then instead of using the string, which is a real good technique since we got two. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a pair of pliers. I'm gonna twist it, it's gonna push against the hook so that the barb's getting some slack, and then I'm gonna pull. Now, it ain't gonna feel good, but we're gonna get it out. Charlie McClendon, rest your soul. There you go. You I got bullet, one out I got of a bullet you can I bite on. Look at it, we got speckled trout coming in on the other side of the boat while, we, while we're doctoring you up. All right. Everybody hold still, don't walk around the boat too fast. I want you to... That's one. Okay, one. stay still. You want a towel, Gary? We're gonna get him. All right, just don't push that in. You got any? Ready? Dirt. Yeah. Hold up. Two. Dirt. There you go. Ah! I'm sure. Fifty percent. That's one of them. Fifty percent, right? Let it bleed. Grab that peroxide. All right. Hang on. Hold up. You don't need that. Uh, I got. I got to buy yacht. That hurt a little bit. I'm sure. Doctor, Doctor Captain CT. Bleed, boy. Is that spaghetti sauce on your hand? Ragu. It's in there. All right, boss. Got the pressure? Is the pressure right? Is it? You out. Clear. Done. No tears. How about that? Hmm? Thank you. CT. Yes, sir. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I wouldn't have done it like that. <laughs> nice. Hey, a shot of wine, if I something might have been better, kill the pain. CT got it out with a less pain, and now. To break the sweat I broke out in the signing water. Mm -hmm. I may run that Thank you, bro. No, no. You saved me. No, Thank no. you, CT. Justin, South Louisiana is known really internationally as a remarkable fishing place all year long, but there's a lot of competition with guides and some outstanding people who can put you on fish. You're an up and comer in this business. I hear a lot of good things about you. What's your overriding philosophy when you take out clients? really just to, to make sure they're happy. I mean, I, I'm lucky to have a lot of guys um, that are in the business, been in the business for a long time. Uh, Mike Gallo, one included, uh, teaching me pretty much what to do, what not to do. And um, he, he's really helped me out a lot. I, I just like to take the customer out, get an idea of what they're um, looking to accomplish on the trip. If they just want to get out for a ride or adventure, if they, they're targeting really hammering the fish. So far this year, it's been an abnormally hot and dry fall, uh, with the exception of the hurricane, which came through a couple of days ago, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But to me, the fall fishing here may be two or three weeks later than normal. Do you agree with that? I, I do agree. Um, we had some fish a couple of weeks ago move in, uh, some keeper fish moved into the marsh quickly. I know I'm hearing they're moving into the lake now. We caught a few right off of the lake. Um, we just came out to the marsh to see what what's going on after that storm, and uh, it's they're catching some now behind us. But it's a it's a mix of keepers and throwbacks. Well, Hurricane Nate uh, passed not far from here, the eye of it. But as we look at this marsh, it does not look damaged at all. I I, I think everybody was very fortunate. Oh yeah, we definitely got fortunate with the hurricane. You can tell that the water was up really high because you can see some mm -hmm. debris on top of the marsh grass in certain places. But uh, yeah, I think, I think we did very well getting away from that one. One of the remarkable things to me about South Louisiana fishing and in this Lake Catherine area, which I've never been to, by the way, and it's gorgeous, but the fact that you literally can fish 12 months out of the year. Yeah, that's, I don't hunt, I don't do any of that. All I do is fish. And my favorite time of the year is really winter whenever the big fish are on the bridges in the lake. How can people get in touch with you? They can get in touch with me at jbfishingcharters.com um, they can email me at justin at jbfishingcharters.com or they can call me at 985-969-2036. Justin, in your fishing history, I know you fished a lot of saltwater marshes, lakes, open water uh, in Louisiana. Why did you pick this, this particular area? Uh, really, I got hooked on fishing the bridges and um, it's, it's very close to where I live. So I, I wasn't having a trailer a long way. I'm keeping my boat at Lake Catherine now, so I don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. But 
I really got hooked on jigging the bridges and uh, really worked hard at it. Uh, didn't do too well at first, but I think I, I've kind of figured that out now and um, really enjoying it. Now I'm learning whatever what else the area has to offer with the marshes and everything around. We've caught a mixed bag today, including Gary Responi's hand. What's the limit on hands and palms? I think it's it's two per day okay. per angler. Okay. If there's a weight limit, I think we've already exceeded it, though. I, I, he was a throwback. Hmm. He, he was he was over the legal measure. Over the slot limit. Yeah. All right. Yeah, for sure. Jeff Brenner, executive producer of CST. Jeff, 15 years we've been on the same show with y'all. We, we're coming on our 15th anniversary. We were right after y'all was getting on. CST has grown, had troubles, changed some networks, changed y'all viewing, but right now, your outdoor block is tremendous. And anything new coming from the outdoor block or what you... We will have some new shows coming up in the next fishing season. They're already signed. They're going to be in. Uh, but add that to the group that we've already had for, the, for many, many years. I mean, there's no outdoor block across Louisiana and the Gulf South that can rival what we do on CST. Yeah, Y'all put it at great times, too. You know, there are a lot of times people are home on Sunday mornings. That's one of them we own. It's just a tremendous. In sports right now, we got Lynn know. Rollins that does, does a lot of play-by-play -play and broadcast, broadcast of the year. Him and I have been friends for many years. Let me tell you what, we've done, done red fishing, offshore fishing. We done did everything, but his favorite is duck and goose hunting. He is very good. He got a new dog, so I can't wait for hunting season. So if you want to see more hunting, you watch it. Paradise, Louisiana on CST. Anything else you want to say about CST? Yeah, a couple things. I mean, in two weeks, we hit our 15th anniversary, October 28th. We'll have a show, 15 years and counting, a look back at CST from the beginning to where we are now and to where we were go will be going in the next 15 years. So that's sa Saturday, October 28th. Tune in. The other thing that, that's big on our channel right now is our football coverage. Our pregame shows for LSU Game Day Live Arkansas Game Day Live, you can see talent like Jacob Hester, Gordy Rush, Victor Howell, Eric Alexander with LSU. Then you next, right at noon on, on Saturdays, you've got the Arkansas folks with Gus Cattengale, um, Ken Hamlin, and Felix Jones, the former running back for Arkansas, and then the Dallas Cowboys. So if you want to get the breakdown before the games happen, that's where you see it. Then at night, you go to CST Tonight, you bring on Scott Shanley on the show with Victor. They break down all the college highlights for that. Then come Sunday when, when the Saints are playing, we've got Saints game day with Shanley and Victor again, but Mike Neighbors is on site. Then then at night we recap the game with Deuce McAllister joining the group. So anything you want to know about your local teams, we've got the people to tell you about it. And you know, just the weekend added to the outdoor blocks, you just leave it on CST. And you can see Paradise to Louisiana, CST, 15 years and count. I'm John Jackson, and you know we always say we gather our groceries out the bayou. Whether it's freshwater, saltwater, catfish, redfish, you have tons of choices when it comes to fish in Louisiana. But when I fry fish, there's only one choice, and that's Louisiana fish fry. My new favorite, the Cajun fish fry, has the perfect amount of cornmeal, corn flour, and the perfect mix of spices that really bring the heat. Hey, if you're craving Cajun, go look for the bright red bag at your local grocers. Bring home the taste of Louisiana with Louisiana Fish Fry.
Welcome to the Paradise, Louisiana news segment. Gary, some pretty big news. Uh, CCA Louisiana is getting ready to begin this week, in fact, to construct yet another fishing reef. This one in Lake Pontchartrain on that southwest corner in St. John Parish, and it's going to be named after a, a prominent member of the CCA who worked very hard for conservation, Vincent Mathern. This will be called Mathern's Fishing Reef. And Hey, what these reefs have been nothing but successful for people that go fishing once it's been put down. It doesn't take very long for them to start producing either. Yeah, that'd be so quick to get to too, because you can go right there on the plus and be right. right there on it. Uh, Don, since we're talking about CCA, uh, Star, the award night, we're going to be a live local raven. We're going to be two weeks mm -hmm. in a row, we're going to be there. A lot of awards, a lot of food, a lot of things will be going on. That's just Thursday night. If you're watching it on Wednesday night, if you're watching it Thursday night, you're late. You better get over there. But, uh, you know, for all y'all people that are watching on Wednesday night, be sure to get there or watching it on YouTube. Uh, be sure and get out there. Uh, another event they got going on right now is uh, is in Big, uh, the Big Branch, right out the wildlife, mm -hmm. the wildlife Refuge. It's called Wild Things. It's from 4 to 9 p.m. Saturday, it'll be on Highway uh, 443, am I correct? 430, yeah, 4, 434. Lacombe, 434. Lacombe exit off I-4. In the comb, yep. and, the, and you, you can be out there all day. They're going to have everything to do about wildlife mm -hmm. and main thing, environmental things. They're going to have videos. They're going to have things to do. It's a big deal. It's used there every year. You know, Mike, since it's in my past where I'm at, Staying right now, a lot of times I might get to make it out there because it's going to be very interesting. Also, get out to fish. Another one coming mm -hmm. up. You know more about it than I do. It's going to be coming up in Ragley. It's going to be at Purple Heart Park, and that's the same Saturday. They'll be over there. By the way, the, uh, the other ones, the Friends of Louisiana Wildlife Refuge, are putting on that one at Big Branch. All right, and that get out and fish program is uh, very worthwhile. Uh, one of the big requests we get is people who want to go find a place to fish, but they don't have a boat. They got kids, they want to bring them to a bank, and they stock them with catfish, so there's some pretty good chances you'll catch some fish. So the information's on the screen to find out more details about it. All right, and we'll be right back with the H&H &H Tournament Report. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana, from Bergeron's Boudin, Cajun Meats and Restaurant in Fort Allen, Louisiana. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change has been keeping cars and trucks in Baton Rouge clean and running smooth for over 50 years. At Benny's, we feature professional car washing, complete detailing, high-tech waxing and buffing, interior cleaning, and tire shine. Benny's, one stop for car maintenance with complete oil and lube services and even state inspections at our express locations. Visit one of our five convenient locations, including our newest store on Greenwell Springs Road. And don't forget to stop by Be Quick Convenience Store and Fuel Stop. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Drive in dirty, drive out clean. Three. You're watching, watching Paradise, Paradise, Louisiana. Thank you. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Tito's Vodka Redfish Circuit. The inaugural circuit, I'm going to tell you what, the tournament is outstanding. Thank you. You've got to be extremely happy. We are. We had 184 teams fish with us this year, which is way more than we anticipated or expected just a great year it really was we had a lot of fun uh, the championship kind of got hindered with the uh, hurricane <laughs> an october hurricane believe it or not so uh, we did a few changes but still had a great time so well, your group got extremely praised for doing that y'all y'all got it in y'all went to one day only and, and everybody was happy y'all was out of there everybody was safe that was a smart move on that your, your committed part Tell us who to some of these people you got to thank because it was just tremendous. Yeah. And I, every time I went to one of them, it was just stacked up with volunteers and helpers and workers. Absolutely. Thank them. Well, I got to thank, I got to start with Becky Cheney and uh, Rebecca Hillebrandt. Without them, I couldn't have done this. I mean, they set up everything. They got the crews together. They got everybody together. It was just 
again, I, I rely on them because they helped me for the past couple of years doing little things. And uh, this one was big. So um, Becky and Rebecca, thank y'all so much. Uh, we also have uh, Danica with the Wish to Fish. That's the charity that we chose to sponsor this year. And uh, we're happy to report that at the end of the year, we, uh, we earned them $20,000 for their charity, so to help those kids. Tony Jennings for operations and expertise. He's, uh, he's been around a long time. Thank you, Tony. I know it was a, it was a crazy year. Uh, you came in kind of the second tournament, but we really appreciate you. Um, let's see, we've got Michaela Meyer. She did all of our pictures, so everything y'all will see here in a little while or on the screen that Chris is putting up. Pictures, you've got, we've got Sarah Cusimano Neal, uh, Vito's wife. Um, she did check-ins, set up, a lot of stuff, and Cito. New Orleans, Christian Orfanello and Colleen, they were just tremendous um, help this year. They, they just went above and beyond food, set up just so much. They just had so much uh, participation and support for us. We just wanted to thank you guys so very much. Uh, we've got the tagging team. Danica brought the tagging team with Becky. And you know, I, mean, we, we tag, I don't even know, we, we probably tagged close to a thousand fish this year in the, in the tournament. I couldn't have done it without the, the crew that I had. It was absolutely amazing. Absolutely Your, your amazing. food is excellent. I remember one of them I went to, uh, Miss Angie Stewart and David and them, yep. they had somebody that cooked a jambalaya and yeah. pastelaya. And, but, but that Traeger Grill crew, you guys, guys cooking on their Friday nights before. We've got now, a, now, a lot well, of What things. happened to the food? When y'all y'all had just a one day tournament, did y'all well, go early? Well, we did. We did our Traeger Grill cook off on the Thursday night, and thanks to Trey Waller and Scott Maye for stepping up and cooking. Uh, Jamie Huff for always bringing something. Uh, we just had a, the one night. Everything got changed for this championship. With that, was it hurricane or tropical storm, whatever it was called? Nate. Nate. That's what it was. It just kind of threw everything off. We wanted to be safe, and that's why we changed it to a one day. But. We still had uh, LA 23 barbecue. I don't know if you've seen them. They're on the way down to Empire. They're on the left-hand side, and they have, to me, in my opinion, the best barbecue in the city and the state. We okay. absolutely we, love we, LA 23 barbecue. We're in the best place right now. Yeah, bad room, but I want to Oh, no, my barbecue, no, you know, just, smokehouse, whatever. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> now, we got a lot of things to cover right now. Number one is, is uh, let's talk about the winners. Uh, real right. quick, we don't know about the winners. We ran a little bit of that last week, but talk Thank about the winners. Well, we had, uh, I'm going to start with first place, um, the, and not the K2 Coolers team of the year, but the actual uh, Tito's Vodka first place winners for the championship are Wayne Juno and Kirk Davis. It's their first um, first big win, and some good people. We've been fishing against them for quite a while, and a $20,000 first place check. You could just see the shock, excitement, and joy on their face, but they had 27.52 pounds All right, for first place. What about place. the K2 team of the year? Well, the K2 Coolers team of the year is Sean O'Connell, Nikki Savoy, and Paul Dufresne. They won $5,000 for K2. Right. David uh, Naren and Stephen Jones for second place in the championship. They also had a sportsman's ice ice machine. I mean, you wanted, they won $7,000 and an ice machine. Not bad for second place. And then Barney White and Dwayne Mills finished third for $5,500. The K2 Coolers Team of the Year, second place, Scott Benoit, Steven, Steven Sierra, and third place is Mac McElroy and Br Brandon Treadway. Great job, everybody. Thank you, all the anglers. Let's talk about next year. Well, we're excited about next year. We're changing things up in true Tito's fashion. We're going bigger and better. We're not going to have the Redfish Series. We're going to have Redfish events. Um, the name hasn't, we haven't made the name public yet. We're still working on that, but we're really excited about it. And uh, we'll have a few events next year. Um, no team of the year. We just want everybody fishing. We don't want any restrictions. We just want to have fun. So that's what we're going to do for next year. We're going to make it uh, bigger and better, and hopefully we'll have even better payouts. Now you didn't, you didn't tick my my my, my brain right now. What about <laughs> When you when are you gonna come back on and tell us what Tito has got planned? We'll probably come back in January. We're thinking about doing something really early this year. We want to work. We we don't want to compete with any of the other Redfish series. We want everybody fishing. It's just it's so much fun. It's a, it's a good brotherhood. So we don't want to take away from anybody else, and we don't want anybody else taking away from us. So we want to do things at different times of the year that aren't normal, and to give all these guys and these girls time to fish in exciting areas. To catch, to just to catch fish. Well, thank you. You still Paradise Weeds are going to be part of this next year? Absolutely. You're on camera. We want you guys at all the events. We're going to take a lot of text today. <laughs> I'm ready. God bless I'm ready. you. Thank you thank so you much. Guys. I appreciate it. Tito Redfish Series, and there ain't a Redfish Series next year, so stay tuned. Paradise, Louisiana. Find out more.
Pause moving in storage. We just sold our house. Congratulations. We have two weeks to move. We'll deliver a few containers. Our new home's not ready. No problem. You can store things with us while you're between homes. We might need help. We'll refer trusted packers. We'll be staying at my brother's. Well, that sounds... He has kids of his own. Well... Five of them. Ma'am? Help. Trust us for local and long-distance moving and store at our storage centers. Pods, moving in storage, solved. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana. Welcome to the H and H Tournament Report, and uh, you saw the Tito's Tournament wrapping up, and be looking forward to putting that on again next year for you kayakers. A couple of events coming up: uh, the Bayou Coast Kayak Fishing Club. They sponsor a lot of events. Their Trout Challenge is scheduled for October the 28th, Saturday. You can fish anywhere along Highway 23 down in Plaquemines Parish. Way in for that one's going to be at the Myrtle Grove Marina. They also have the 12th annual Fall and Tide kayak fishing rodeo coming up. That'll be on November the 11th. That, by the way, is opening day of duck season. Fishing, same area, Highway 23. Way in for this one's going to be down in Venice at the Cypress Cove Marina. Don, one of the, one of the series that just got through is Fishers of Men. In 2017, just got over. Winston Michel just sent out. In fact, some of the guys were here getting ready to go up and fish the national tournament over there for, for the Fishers of Men. But the and we're going to run on the screen the Fishers of Men schedule for 2018. It starts here, it starts at Bayside Tackle in uh, January 27th, and it runs all the way through May. So we run those dates on there. Also, the Bass Central Open. Uh, they just they went on the, the, the Great Lakes over there, Cherokee. We had 70 year old well known fishermen around here, Mr. Will Majors. Will paid second in the non voters. And they only had the other totals in there. And the only one in Louisiana that placed it was, uh, was, was Jimmy Sharpen. They finished 12th. He's from, uh, from Salmon, excuse me. He finished 7th from Santa and 12th was Blaze Sparks from Denham Springs. So they finished in that time. We also got some uh, tournament results of people going to the tournament right now. Uh, you know who Ryan, Ryan Levine is, huh? He bought it and went through the, the Bass Nation and fished the Classic last, last year and went from amateur and got to fish the last day and won it all. And he went to the Bass Master Classic. So I uh, had a big article in the paper this past week and Sunday and Joe's second article. But uh, last year, Ryan was just the first time he talked about everything he went through. But there's five of them going this year. You got Jamie Lesh is also going mm -hmm. right there. Jamie fished in the Classic in 2008, going through the same thing, you know, with the state team. But the guys from the state right now, we got five from Louisiana. I'm gonna try to read their names on my right. It's not too good right now. But uh, the five guys that are going down are Kevin S S Simon, or Simon, Caleb Summerall, Ryan Levine, Jamie Lesh, and Neil Norman. So. They'll be fishing in Lake Hartwell in South Carolina. I want to wish them good luck, and I'm sure we'll bring it, bring it something back. The, the Grand Isle Ladies Rodeo, very big success. Thanks to Sherry Hollingsworth. This is only the second one I've missed in 11 years. Uh, the schedule change, do it like that. Uh, the awards were given out, award nights. If you've ever been there, it's unbelievable. All the ladies dressed in pink and their costumes. Uh, the, the party is outstanding right there at Bridgeside Marina. You see some pictures of people celebrating. But uh, I got to give a shout out. My niece, again, always placing. She placed in Cobia uh, last year and the year before in Mangrove. She won both. Stephanie responded. Congratulations. She come out first and second in uh, the Mangrove Snapper. Uh, Don, I, I, I'm trying to look. I don't want to miss nothing. Uh, you get any other tournaments? I, I can't think of. I've all got right. right now. All you want to get your time. tournament, your rodeo on the program, on the report, send it to us. Gary at Paradise, Louisiana. 
please give us a minimum of about three weeks lead time and we'll be able to pass that along to our, our viewers so they can make your event. We'll be right back with the Berkeley Abu Garcia fishing report and a hunting report. Hey, I'm Mitch Rotolo, owner of Rotolo's Pizzeria. Our pizzas are prepared every day using the freshest ingredients. But Rotolo's has so much more to offer than just delicious pizza. We have an array of healthy salads and tasty wraps, a wide choice of pasta like spaghetti and chicken parmesan, zesty buffalo wings, and our selection of savory calzones. And don't forget to try one of our amazing desserts. Come into any of our local restaurants or check out our entire menu online at rotolos.com. That's just the way we Rotolo. Hi, I'm Lisa Williams from F.S. Williams Outfitters, and you're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Aggressive, modern, and durable. The latest advancement in spinning has the Revo name on it, and almost a century of fishing expertise in it. No matter where your passion takes you, world-class fishing is only a Revo away. Time for our Berkeley Abu Garcia fishing report. And if you've been fishing or talked to fishermen since Hurricane Nate passed through the eastern part of the state, saltwater fishing has really come on. There's been a lot of white trout, speckled trout, redfish everywhere. But the main thing is those speckled trout have been driven further into the interior marshes. Not only are we getting good reports from the big lakes like Pontchartrain, Lake Catherine, Lake Bourne, but even the interior marsh areas. I got a report last week of uh, three pound speckled trout being caught up in places like Stump Lagoon in the interior of, of the marsh. And it's kind of early for big trout like that to be in there. But the fishing is good, not just there. Grand Isle has got some really good fishing on the back side of the bay now. Uh, and everywhere in between there, we're just getting really good reports. So if you haven't been out, you might want to get out there and, and take a, a trip to those Why areas. Why are you at Grand Isle? Historically, you know, when you fish, I used to have a lease back there and have some property and we'd go back there. It started in October, got tremendous in November, but right now with that storm, I got me here in Perfect from, from Round Lake, uh, Lake Infirmary, all them lakes up in there right now producing redfish and spout, the big trout, big trout are coming. Mm -hmm. uh, Tommy Vedrine and them are still catching them. He's using pokers, but uh, they're catching them on plastic. Uh, it's just a number of mine because the H and H sparkle beetle is still catching a lot of fish in that area in the Grand Isle. Also, the tuna in Grand Isle. You know, I've been catching the same thing. People say when the weather, wind lays down now. During the, the latest rodeo, they say the wind was atrocious, especially Saturday. So they had a lot of trouble people getting out, but the ones that get out <laughs> caught fish and they fought them waves. Usually they didn't think them ladies did, but my niece, they went out there and fought them waves and caught them, them, them mangroves. Uh, Lafitte, you know, you're getting reports from dining now. Now we got a, a sad report about a lot of the islands out there in the chandelier. Right. They were damaged. How it's going to affect the fish dying? Do you have any other? But some people sent us some pictures and some stories on it. Uh, they, a lot of that came from Tofield and then the people flying out. We're going to be in the chandelier islands next week. Uh, the fishing of the chandelier lodge. They wanted to jack up board. So I probably give you a first hand view back then. Uh, in the feet, Mark Barker, Don Easter, Jerry Lacombe on his birthday, they've been catching a lot of fish. They're fishing with Craig the guys. That's, that's, that's another captain I got to go with because uh, he's been catching a lot of fish over there. But they had trout up to four pounds. Uh, uh, that was last week mm -hmm. and Wednesday. Uh, Delacroix, Mr. Tom LeBlanc, he had a mixed fix. Him and his friends, they didn't catch a whole lot of fish. But, but Calvin, Captain Calvin Duval, who usually fishes out of Island Marina, he caught fish everywhere he went. Now they did a lot of culling, okay? But it was no trouble to get his limit. 
wherever way he went, they caught and they wound up some nice trout, wasn't no monster trout. But then I'm getting word from Jack Payne and them that everywhere they went, some of those people were using a lot of shrimp and catching big trout. So uh, I got another picture from the bridge, and I'm hearing fish being caught off of Highway 1. But Amanda and Alan, the people with Gulf Coast liquidators, the, uh, I, I'm telling you what, they fished at night. They went over there Tuesday, right before the storm, had 20 miles an hour winds on the bridge. They didn't think they would do any well. They were fishing Berkeley Gulf, the glow shrimp. Here's some pictures they catching. When no trouble have a lemon of trout, and a white trout, they ate quick keeping because they didn't want to clean them out. They were throwing them back, mm -hmm. but they, they did real good. I got a great picture coming from Lake Boudreau. Uh, Trey Smith out there fishing with a shrimp in Chauvin, 12 pound redfish. Congratulations, Trey. You said you want to be on Paradise, Louisiana, and there you are. Uh, Don, I, I'm, I'm trying to look and see if I got any more fishing reports, but that's the ones I got with the pictures. How about freshwater? No, no, the freshwater reports have been slim, but they're all coming. My, good, my friend Paige also worked with us at Paradise, Louisiana. She's been going squirrel hunting. They've been going to the lakes up there where she, she lives. She's from not far from Alexander and Natchitoches mm -hmm. in there. I don't know where these fish come from because she sent me these pictures, but uh, they made a squirrel hunt, went out fishing. She caught 11 bass. Her and her, and her brother, they've been called 11 bass. And she didn't finish that report, but she can fish in anything. She can fish bud bait, she can fish with worms, she can fish a jig. She's a true outdoor lady. And uh, you, you can see right now, when we're gonna get ready to go to hunting report, she kills a, she kills a mess of squirrels every time too. Now, I, I, got, I got rumors now that from Natchitoches, Sibley and all those lakes uh -huh. up there and Horseshoe Lake, they are catching Sackalay. And they've been shooting the piers. And Toledo Bend is another place right now. They're catching a lot of some tremendous sackle right now. And about 25 foot of water. They and they using shiners. All right. I'm sorry. Let's get to the hunting. Get to the hunting. You ready to go hunting? Yeah, I've been ready to go hunting. Now, how you gonna hunt like that? I'll, I'll figure out a way. Don't worry you about always it. did. Don't worry about it. Yeah, they call me MacGyver. How old were you when you started hunting? Now? Oh, I was about eight did. or nine. Eight or nine. Yeah. Started off hunt? squirrel hunting, like squirrel. most people used to do. Yeah, you start off, a lot of kids start off now with a high-powered deer with, rifle. With, with a dog or what? No, no, no. We were still hunters. Let, let me find my paper, Don. All right. Where's my hunting paper? All right. Here we go. I got the hunting report. You ready? First off, I'm going to start back with something tremendous. At the, at the wild night the other night, Dr. Richard Wompo come show me a picture. Tremendous elk he killed. Uh, up in Colorado, in the southeast part of Colorado, is had a 3.82.5 inches. He said he weighed about, he figured he weighed 750 pounds and field dress is 645. Beautiful elk. He goes up there every year. This is the time of year a lot of people start migrating to Colorado, Wyoming. They go and do these hunts. These people that, that do this every year and they get excited. These are all boat kills. And, uh, uh, Dr. Richard said he was fishing a Botec with a raised mechanical broadhead. Uh, they were all the, the elk he's been killing up there in the last few years, all been close range. He'd, he'd give the, the guide, the the guy to Justin Lacero all the credit. And his nephew, Mike, Mike's a big outdoorsman. Y'all know Mike around. He's a developer. He's also a big hunter. He's got some beautiful land just right past St. Francis Field over there. He let us go fish all them big lakes and Louisiana outdoor riders. I'm well, thanking Mike is always involved in all these functions. And, and look, while I'm thanking everybody, Phil Willer, you know, Phil got him a new boat. He always hosts all these events over there at his barn. He got him a new boat right now. He's been wanting to make a trip with you or I and wanted to take us on a trip and whenever you're ready. I, I don't want to forget that. I'm going to go back to this right now. Mike Hill had a big kill, 320 class L. So, the squirrel, again, that's Paige McLean doing that. And the deer, Mr. Peyton Fontenot from South, he was the dad he killed at South Arkansas. Thanks to Gerald Sellers off for sitting there and killed a doe. He was the only one who killed a deer. Congratulations, Peyton. Oh, you know, the uh, East Ascension Sportsman's League has that squirrel rodeo every year. You know, they've they postponed they've, it. Well, it's yeah. been rescheduled, so I believe it's this weekend. Yeah, I got a bunch of stuff out of that. 
All right. Now, while we're talking about hunting, get ready. Duck season is not that far away. November the 4th and 5th, that'll be the youth hunt, also the opening of the goose season. And if you want to make a pheasant hunt, though, I found out we have a couple of openings left on our Cajun invasion to Draper, South Dakota, Bad River, Bucks and Birds. If you want to get in it, here's the details. Go to the website. And it's Thanksgiving weekend. After Thanksgiving, a lot of people are off for the holidays. And if you want to make a little trip on some very unique habitat for a unique style of hunting, we'll be glad to have you come along with us. That's it. And don't forget to keep sending your pictures of your fishing uh, catches and also those uh, ducks and deer. The yeah, same goes for that video. You turn that camera video, you won't have to see the borders on it. Turn mm -hmm. that video. And don't do like I do sometimes. <laughs> keep it steady. Keep it steady and keep it short. All right, send it to Gary at Paradise, Louisiana, and also tell us who, where, what, why, and how, and help your fellow viewers. We'll be back again next week with another edition of Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is presented... Paradise, Louisiana is presented. Paradise, Louisiana is presented by Rotolo's Pizzeria. Fresh ingredients, friendly service. That's just the way we Rotolo. Demco, your touchstone energy cooperative. Pro Drive Outboards. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Cracker Barrel Convenience Stores. We have more than you expect. Always fresh, never frozen, raising canes. Louisiana Fish Fry Products. And by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament.